Hi, so tell me your name, uh, where you're from, and your background. So I'm Sunita Guavetti Nasta. I am on faculty at the University of Pennsylvania in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. And I uh, primarily do hematologic malignancy with a focus on lymphoproliferative disorders. Great. And how did you first become interested in Kassman disease? So I've been at the University of Pennsylvania since about 2001. And in the second month as a faculty member, I was asked to see a young man from West Africa who had presented with uh, dramatic lymphadenopathy. And it was a difficult pathway to diagnosis, but we ended up diagnosing an HHV positive Castleman's disease. And uh, as you know, it's a difficult disease to treat, and we didn't have a lot of options for him. Uh, we started with what we had at the time, which was steroids and cytotoxic chemotherapy, and we did okay. Um, and he managed to muster through the therapy, and he kind of disappeared for a little while. And when he came back, he was really symptomatic from the disease. And we had no more answers for him. And it was a difficult thing to face as um, an oncologist because my goal is to try to make my patients better. And it's been um, a challenge in patients with Castleman's because it's so rare and it has so many different manifestations that each time you meet a patient, it's something different and something new. So my hope for something like our collaborative network here is that we'll be able to pool our experience such that we have a larger basis to do research, to find the right clinical pathways, um, to use the newer molecular tools that we have now. Um, you know, and it all came back to that one young man that we couldn't do enough for back right. in 2001. Yeah. So what are some of the advances that you're maybe looking forward to? So as you know, uh, we've learned that the pathway for Castleman's is very much uh, determined by a cytokine called IL-6. And now we have a targeted therapy against IL-6. But that really deals with only the symptoms of the disease. And I think we really have the opportunity now to look at why they start secreting IL-6. What are the pathways that can lead to targeted therapies that really go to the root of why the disease arises, rather than dealing with the symptoms? Right. And then how did you become introduced to the CDCN? So, um, very interestingly, I uh, teach a group of first-year medical students. And um, one of my medical students is working with David Fagenbaum. And she had spent some time in clinic with me and saw a patient with Castleman's disease. And she said, you treat Castleman's disease? I didn't mm -hmm. know that. You have to meet David. And his enthusiasm is infectious. Um, and I think it's a perfect avenue to get people together to look at this disease in, in a more collaborative and uh, compulsive way. Right. And what would you say to patients out there that are maybe recently diagnosed and are looking for more information? Um, find us. Use the, use the network. Find out who are the doctors in the network. Go to some place where they've seen more than one. The average oncologist will not have seen this disease more than once in their career. Go to someone who's seen it more often. Um, you may not be getting your therapy there ultimately, but having the experience of someone who can look at your pathology and know what they're talking about, be able to have some experience with the drugs that you might use is really important to improve your outcome. Right, and then what would you say to practitioners and researchers who want to get more involved? Um, I think that if you are a private practitioner, you should know what you know and know what you don't know and use the resources that we have. Um, and this provides us an opportunity to pool what we know such that we can do better for our patients. Great. Thank you so much. Thank you.